it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2022 F-150 with the STX package, and that includes the SYNC 4. As well, it's got an ingot silver exterior, black sport cloth interior, seating for five, four doors, and a five and a half foot box. It has a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission, and it's a 4x4. This vehicle also has the FX4 off-road package, which includes skid plates and a trailer brake controller included with the trailer tow package. It's really easy to take this vehicle out on a test drive. You can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned. We're going to have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission, and it's a 4x4. Let's have a look inside in the door as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. The driver's seat is manually adjusted with manual lumbar. You've got these nice carpeted mats, electronic parking brake, lighting controls and there's a grab handle and a running board making it easier to get in. On the face of the steering wheel is your lane keeping, cruise control, volume, your menu and hands-free dialing. We're going to start up the vehicle. You're going to see any important messages, your odometer reading and we can go through the menu and see the different options there. So it's just reminding us where we're at for fuel and we can go into the menu just by pushing on it. There we go. Select screens, truck info, towing, vehicle maintenance, settings, and these all have sub menus. Your automatic select shifter is here, a little bin up top. You have your camera. So that's showing you off the back. The green, yellow, red is showing you how close you are to other objects or vehicles when going in reverse in the center line there. I'm just gonna press back. We have our hazard lights, hill descent, traction control, and we can touch on the screen for different options. So we've got our sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio, as well as Bluetooth. And there's the navigation. And when we put the vehicle in reverse, we're gonna see our backup camera view again. And it's the same thing off the bumper. So say you weren't going in reverse, you just wanted to see what was going on, you could press the camera button. Then we go into settings, you can slide through for different options. You can change the look of your display, You've got your vehicle hotspot, connectivity, and so forth. In your features, owner's manual, towing, and driver assistance. Volume and tuner, and there's your fan, AC and max AC, as well as your front and rear defrost. In your bin, you've got a USB, USB-C, and a place to put things. You've got your integrated trailer brake controller, and you've got locking differential and your drive mode. So as we dial through that, it'll appear on the dash, so there's normal. You'll notice the icons change. Slippery, deep snow sand, mud ruts, rock crawl, and then back around again. So, and there's tow haul. So as the road conditions change, the things that you need to do, such as towing, or the weather can cha uh, changes, you can adapt to that. You've got a nice little bin here, a couple of cup holders. Your armrest opens up. You've got a nice little bin in here. You can put things closer to you. Lots of room down below. And then off to the side, you have the 12 volt, and you also have a USB, USB-C locking glove compartment and a little cubby grab handle in the body and then a manually dimming rear view mirror lighting controls sunglass holder and you're all set to go inch wheels black running board door handle and side view mirror driver side capless easy fuel gas filler the black handle extends to the tailgate the tailgate is lockable and removable and your camera's just above that handle as well you've got backup sensors on your bumper four and seven pin connector trailer hitch and a locking spare tire and then when you want to open up the tailgate simply put your hand in the latch you've got tie downs in all four corners and you've also got a tailgate step as well you have a place to put clips and you can clamp to the back of the vehicle you've also got two rulers one metric and one imperial i'm just going to open up the tailgate step for you and I've got the handle to put on there. There we go. And as you can see, that yellow button, that's a handle that pulls out and gives you some stability. It actually stands up straight, so it makes it easier to get in and out. And then when you're ready, just close it up, lock it up and walk away, or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And speaker in the door, as well as power windows. There's a grab handle in the body and seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. Simply lift the seat with one hand, it's in the upright position, and then pull the tab, it'll bring the seat right down for you. Anchors at the base to be able to tether baby seats. Nice carpeted mats on the floor and slim pockets on the back of the front seat couple of cup holders, air vents on each side, as well you've got a 12 volt and down below is the USB, USB-C outlet and a little bit of an ambient lighting there to be able to see. Another grab handle on the driver's side 
and there's also hooks up top in the back access to a big window with rear defrost Color bumper five and a half foot box privacy glass in the back windows adjustable side view mirrors halogen headlights fog lights tow hooks and so many more reasons to visit us if you like this video and would like to see more please subscribe we have plenty to share with you and we'd love to hear your comments